everybody welcome back to my channel today uh, we are going to talk about sick leave in the nhs because a lot of people they have confusion that you can call in sick anytime or uh, if you are sick what should you should do and what's the procedure of taking sick leave so stay tuned i'll we will talk all about sick taking sick leave in the nhs so what happens if you are sick <laughs> so first of all every department every nhs uh, they have different procedure of uh, informing uh, like a, a different procedure for the employees to inform their manager or to the bleep holder or whatever i will discuss my experience and what do we do in our in our trust yeah so if you are sick you need to call the bleep holder whoever is the bleep holder if you according to your department if you are working in a medical department you need to call your medical holder or medical um, bleep holder or you need to call the staffing bleep holder tell them that i work in this department i'm not feeling well i cannot come to the work and uh, they're gonna take your details they'll write down your name the area of your work and then your position of course and then they're gonna inform your your manager or your uh, nurse in charge whatever the case may be okay can that's you take it sick leave anytime you can take sick leave if you are sick <laughs> if you are sick you can take sick leave of course and uh, the thing is uh, taking sick leave it's usually considered in the episodes by the nhs they consider even if you take one day sick leave it will be considered as one episode and if you take you know, like after one week you take another sick leave it will be a second episode so just keep in mind that um, i don't know how how many episodes do we have in a in a year that we should take but I'm not sure. I'm not sure because HR, they don't tell us that uh, how many episodes of the sick leaves you have. But you can sell if you're sick, you, you feel like you're not well enough to go to the work. You can self certify yourself. You can self certify your sickness for one week. You don't need to see your GP. You don't need to see your doctor. So for one week, uh, you can self certify. But after that, you need to inform your GP, you need to see your GP or your occupational health. So if, if you feel like you, you're not getting any appointment from the GP, you can tell your manager that uh, please, I want to see occupational health for this particular reason, I'm not able to work or if they need to make any amendments to your work area, just tell your manager that uh, can you please refer me to the occupational health. And when your manager refer you to the occupational health, you're gonna see a doctor there and then they will be able to help you with this situation and so because uh, it happens one of my colleagues she was off sick with the covid and um, she got covid in january last uh, i mean in the beginning of this year and then now recently she's not feeling well with her breathing she was having breathlessness and she couldn't wear mask she was not well enough to wear mask and work in the clinical area so she speak to, she spoke to the manager and the manager said okay I'm going to refer you to the occupational health maybe you can talk to them and then discuss your concern because according to the GP they were saying it will go on its own it will like you will feel better with the time but it was already three months or two months she was suffering so and um, she was referred to the occupational health and then the doctor from the occupational health said like uh, you need to work for three months in a non-clinical area what does that mean that means she should not work as a nurse because in the clinical area we still wear face masks so she should not wear face masks because she was having trouble breathing with with the face mask so occupational health suggested her that she needs to be she needs to be in a non-clinical area she needs to work in the office or at the reception or whatever so she's currently working in the office for some time for three months without the mask of course and then if she feels better after that they're gonna reassess her after three months and then they will see if she feels better with the mask she can come back to her clinical place but there is a problem in this one if someone is not if someone is uh, um if someone has been advised for uh, work and amendments like uh, in the particular area that they cannot work for 10 patients but they can work for five patients so if someone has uh, been referred by the occupational health or someone has been advised that they should not work uh, too heavy they cannot do bank because they are still under the procedure of their uh, rehabilitation they are still under the process of getting 
getting better from their condition so they cannot do work bank shifts they cannot work bank shifts so if, if for the people who work too many bank shifts and then they they plan their budget according to that i mean uh, with the basic salary from the nhs sometimes if you have four kids or three kids it can be difficult to manage but if you do loads of bank shifts with along with your nhs job you will be fine you will be fine so a lot of people they do banks so if you are if you are under sick leave or you are uh, you are for re like uh, you are advised to get some rest in the nhs i mean you're not working in the clinical area you cannot work bank shifts so it's a loss <laughs> but if please please consider your health first if you feel like you're not well enough if you feel like sorry if you feel like you're not well enough to work in a particular area you cannot care for 10 patients tell your manager that you're having some troubles you you're not feeling you're not feeling that you're doing it well because your patient suffering because of you 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 are suffering so it's not good for you and not good for patients as well so if there's no harm guys just tell to your manager they are quite good they're very good i mean they will help you throughout this procedure and if you've been seen by the occupational health and they suggest something your managers your uh, your matron they gonna accept it that this person needs some help yeah uh, and even for the what do you call it even for the pregnant ladies when they when they are pregnant uh, they need to inform their hr department they need to inform their manager and then they can make uh, work amendments they can give uh, them uh, a light duty they can give them extra jobs that uh, they should not uh, do like ha manual handling lifting and all those things you know turning patients uh, and um, so it's always good to talk to your manager guys there's no point in hiding things yeah just tell them if you're not feeling well enough and sometimes uh, we don't go under the sun if your vitamin d is low you'll feel tired you will feel uh, lethargic all the time so just better be checked <laughs> for everything and uh, discuss with your man manager discuss it with your nurse in charge and she may escalate to the manager and then see the occupational health there is no harm there is no nothing wrong there is, there is nothing wrong in it saying that um, it's okay to be not okay it's okay to be not okay yeah <laughs> it's okay to be not okay so if you're not feeling well enough it's okay to see it say it it's okay to tell your colleagues and then if you get help from them you will get help you will get some help guys honestly because uh everybody is considered as a human being it's not like uh, you are saying that i'm having abdominal pain and they'll still ask you no you need to work no it's not like that the, you will be seen uh, you will be sent down to an ed department you will be sent down to the occupational health uh, for a checkup so i would suggest if you're not well call them tell them you're having this trouble and then it will all be sorted Th that's it guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you soon in the next video take care Bye bye